Hello, my name is Gilbert Fanciulo, and I'm going to speak to you today about qualifying for medical cannabis in the state of New Hampshire. The state has instituted rules that enable patients to obtain medical cannabis to treat the symptoms of certain medical conditions. The cannabis will be obtained at alternative treatment centers, which is just another name for a cannabis dispensary. Patients are required to complete an application, and they must have a qualifying medical condition which their doctor or nurse practitioner attests to. Patients receiving medical cannabis have protection from arrest or prosecution if they use the drug properly, but if used improperly, they may be subject to sanctions and even arrest. The state has provisions for patient caregivers if the patients are too ill to come to the alternative treatment center themselves, and there are special provisions for potential patients who are under the age of 18. The state of New Hampshire will approve or deny any application within 15 days of approval and will issue a medical marijuana card to the applicant within an additional five-day time period. A non-refundable application fee of $50 is required. There are four alternative treatment centers in the state of New Hampshire. They're located in Merrimack, Plymouth, Lebanon, and Dover. An applicant must select one alternative treatment center on their initial application. Patients can change their alternative treatment centers at any time. This slide shows an application roadmap. Patients must start by completing an application. They then have the provider attest that they have a qualifying medical condition and the provider will complete his or her portion of the application. A digital photograph must be obtained and submitted as well as a non-refundable check for $50 and proof of New Hampshire residence. All this material then must be mailed or delivered to the Department of Health and Human Services. Qualifying conditions are listed on this slide and include diseases such as multiple sclerosis, ulcerative colitis, and spinal cord injury or disease. Please note that one or more injuries that interferes with daily activities as documented by the patient's provider is listed as a qualifying condition. If an applicant has been injured in an accident or during surgery, for example, this counts as a qualifying condition. Importantly, please note that in addition to a qualifying condition, a patient must have a specific symptom. These symptoms are described as a severely debilitating or terminal medical condition or its treatment that has produced at least one of the following. Increased intraocular pressure, cachexia, chemotherapy-induced anorexia, wasting syndrome, agitation of Alzheimer's disease, severe pain that is not responded to previously prescribed medication or surgical measures or for which other treatment options produced serious side effects, constant or severe nausea, moderate to severe vomiting, seizures, or severe persistent muscle spasms. It's important to understand that applicants must have both a disease, such as multiple sclerosis, and a symptom, as described above. As mentioned earlier, the written certification for the therapeutic use of cannabis form must be completed and submitted with the application. This form must be completed by a licensed physician or nurse practitioner. In order to complete a certification, a physician or nurse practitioner must have had at least a three-month medical relationship with the potentially qualifying patient during which the provider has conducted a full assessment of the patient's medical history and current medical condition. An exception to the three-month rule would be if the physician or nurse practitioner certifies on the certification form that the onset or diagnosis of the patient's qualifying medical condition occurred within the past three months, and the certifying provider is primarily responsible for the patient's care related to his or her qualifying medical condition. It's also important to understand that neither the physician nor the nurse practitioner is required to participate. It is completely up to them whether or not they want to certify patients at all. It's also important to understand that certification is not a prescription or medical recommendation. It is simply a provider attesting to the state that an applicant has a qualifying medical condition and symptoms and that there is a doctor-patient relationship as described above. In New Hampshire, patients are not permitted to grow their own cannabis plants. 
They can purchase up to two ounces of cannabis in a 10-day period, but no more, and they cannot be in possession of more than two ounces at any one time. There are both protections and prohibitions in force with regard to medical cannabis in the state of New Hampshire. There are laws that protect patients, but patients must respect and obey rules themselves. For example, patients must possess a medical marijuana card and less than two ounces of cannabis. There's no protection from the law if the cannabis is used for non-therapeutic purposes. Cannabis is not to be used in any place of employment without the written permission of the employer. Cannabis is not to be used while operating heavy machinery or handling dangerous instruments. It's not to be used in any public place, and it's not to be used while operating a motor vehicle or boat. You may be arrested if you use cannabis under certain conditions. If you use cannabis on the grounds of any preschool, elementary, or secondary school, or in a drug-free zone, you may be subject to arrest. You may be subject to arrest if you use cannabis in a place of employment, in a correctional facility, in a public restroom or youth center, or in any law enforcement facility. As mentioned earlier, applicants may designate a caregiver if they are unable to get to an alternative treatment center themselves. Each applicant can designate one caregiver. The caregiver must submit an application fee of $50 to receive a registry card. The caregiver must be at least 21 years old and have no felony convictions. The caregiver may be a designated caregiver for up to five patients, but no more, and they must pass a criminal history record check, including electronic fingerprints. If the applicant is less than 18 years of age, then the custodial parent or legal guardian must complete the application and be approved designated caregiver. In addition, the application must include written certification forms completed by two providers, one of which must be a pediatrician. The state of New Hampshire has given us an opportunity to relieve symptoms in patients who have been refractory to other treatments. The law protects these patients, and these patients have specific responsibilities that they must adhere to. Thank you.